The Spectre 13 was already HP's flashiest laptop, and today HP is unveiling a second generation of the computer that makes it look even sharper. The new Spectre 13 is just as thin, at only 10.4mm, but this year it's significantly narrower and shallower, with slimmed down bezels on all sides of its 13-inch display. It's now configured with a touchscreen, and there's a 4K option, too, neither of which were available on the original 2016 model. HP claims it's the world's thinnest touchscreen laptop. While specs and size may be the more important attributes here, the most noticeable change to the Spectre 13 is a new color option. It's called Ceramic White, and it looks great. The top and inside of the laptop feature aluminum that's been treated with a smooth white coating that gives it a semi-glossy ceramic look, without the additional weight of ceramic. The laptop will ship with 8th generation Intel processors. Even though it's a thin laptop, the Spectre 13 uses real Core i processors, the U-series ones, all of which are quad-core this time. HP also says it's improved the battery life this year, a complaint of ours the last time around, claiming a little over 11 hours of use. In addition to updating the Spectre 13, HP is also updating the 13-inch Spectre X360, a slightly thicker and more powerful laptop that's able to flip around into a tablet mode. The changes aren't quite as noticeable here, but the laptop has received a very subtle design overhaul. Its edges are now more angular, and more importantly, HP has moved the vents from the side of the laptop around to the back, where they're a lot subtler and supposed to keep the machine cooler. The laptop is also ever so slightly smaller in all dimensions, allowing the bezels to get ever so slightly smaller, too. Spectre 13's base configuration will sell for $999 and be available starting October 29. HP's original Spectre 13 was as much a statement as it was a high-end PC, and this year HP seems determined to once again prove that it can compete with the best when it comes to design.